Hello. So as discussed, I am on our family's allotment. So this one over here has fruit cage in the background. His dad, we're just putting up a cage for some broccoli and purple sprouting and stuff that we're gonna plant. So I thought I'd get some footage of that, but um, that's our polytunnel and greenhouse. And then we have an allotment over there too, behind the other greenhouse and the canes. And then these are all the other allotments. So yeah, I thought I'd share this with you. Um, Cause it's village life. Right, let's go check out um, the vegetable cage. The whole thing is just freestanding, so right. this will help keep it square, hopefully. So is there a chance it will blow over? No. That's too heavy for that. Hopefully. Big gust of wind now, we bloody take off. I don't know why I thought that was corn. The big ones, the big ones, I think I could get away with thinking they were young corn, but. <laughs> and then, how many different varieties of potatoes have we got in this year? The first two rows are Aaron Pilot. Right. The second two rows are Early's again, which are Red Duke of York. And then we've got two rows of Kaziri's, two rows of Pentland Crown. <laughs> no, I can't remember what those are without looking. What, these ones right in front of me now? The end two rows are the pink birds. Oh, they're the ones I like in um, salads, aren't they? These raspberries are summer fruiting. Right. These raspberries are autumn fruiting. Yeah. And these are all strawberries. So will we be putting um, straw around the bottom of the strawberries this year? Yeah. I can't remember if we did that last year. Yeah. So first right there we've just done some carrots in it. Oh, they look good. Main crop, some early, and then their rainbow ones, all different colours. <laughs> and then first row in the second bed is South Supply. And then the last lot are shallots. So, carrot-wise, the ones on the very end are rainbows. Those two are rainbows. Yeah. <coughs> they're Narcha. Narcha? Yeah. <laughs> and they're water. That's those two. I'm going to make another bed tonight. Not and what's going to go in that? Not sure yet. <laughs> <coughs> Lettuce. Black kale. What in the second one in? In the, the next three. Oh, right. And then. They look well good. They look like you'd just buy those off the shelf. And then the ones either side of the plank are celeriac. And then obviously that's all sweet corn. There's the corn. There's the corn. My favourite. And then these look like squash of some sort. Yeah, these first three are uh, boo boo pumpkins. Boo boo pumpkins. <laughs> and the rest of the courgette. Okay, nice. Lots of courgette curry again this year then. Love mum's courgette curry. Are they broad beans? Yum. 
Are you growing me a Halloween pumpkin? Well, we bought a pack of Atlantic Giant. Yeah. Not one seed's come up. <laughs> and a big-ass rhubarb. Yeah. Horse radish, you say? Yeah. What, like the, your, the, oh, it's flying my eye. <laughs> the stuff that you've got ground up in the fridge? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice view. The broad beans, which I will sit and de-shell thousands of this summer, probably. Couple of money makers. Yeah. Tomatoes. And then these first run are mortgage lifters. <laughs> so we've got money makers and mortgage lifters. Which is a beef steak. And the back ones are um, Italian Florentino, which again oh, yeah. is a beef steak. Now see those ones I quite like, but the other ones I'm not keen on. They don't have too much flavour to me. No, we've got the other ones down there. And then these Money now money makers are like the cherry tomatoes, aren't they? Well, a little bit bigger than cherry, about like what we might call an ordinary size tomato. Okay. And there's some cucumbers down there. Cucumbers. Yeah. And then on this side, it's now two melons. <laughs> Just hiding away in the little corner. <laughs> yeah.